Well, welcome to another edition of Colt Hard Facts. My name is Daryl Cabillas and I'm the superintendent of Cloverleaf Local Schools. And here's our Colt Hard Fact for this episode. Hi, I'm Brandi Bell, a sophomore at Cloverleaf High School. I was wondering, why did Cloverleaf build a new elementary school if we can't even afford to operate it? I think it's only natural when a district like Cloverleaf is in fiscal emergency to question all aspects of its operation. And I think having a new elementary school is added to the complexity of that. Uh, Cloverleaf went into fiscal emergency uh, by declaration of the Ohio Auditor in January of 2012. Ironically, that was the same month we opened the brand new Cloverleaf Elementary School. Despite being in fiscal emergency, there was a few reasons which made sense to construct a new elementary school. I'm going to talk about those right now. The first is the funding source. Medina County has something very unique, and it's a sales tax that affects its local school districts. It was passed in 2007 by our constituents, and it goes directly to schools. It was a half percent, and Cloverleaf shares about a million dollars a year. Now this sales tax can only be used for permanent improvements. A school would qualify as such uh, uh, an expenditure. So what makes us unique at Cloverleaf is we were able to construct a brand new elementary school with no bond issue to the taxpayers. And of course a bond issue is similar to a, a school levy, but the money can only be appropriated for construction. We were able to do that without coming back to the taxpayers for a bond issue. So that's the first reason this made sense. The second reason is one of timing. Um, that sales tax passing in 2007 was a 30-year tax. And so after 30 years, voters will have to vote on whether or not to continue that tax. So if we're leveraging those proceeds for a new building, which is what we had to do, we have to do it early during the uh, life of the tax. And so the Board of Education had to make a decision fairly quickly if they were going to leverage those proceeds to build a $25 million elementary school. Of course, that's exactly what they decided to do. I was hired in 2008. The Board of Education had already made the decision to construct a new elementary school. In fact, the first new building in our school district in 40 years with proceeds from that sales tax. The final reason why it made sense to construct a new elementary school is increased efficiencies which lead to cost savings for the district. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. I'm going to show you here. I have a, a, a chart and it says efficiencies up here. And it starts with utilities. Uh, when you construct a new elementary school, it goes through a commissioning process. And our commissioning agent gave us a number that he thought would be, based upon his research of our, our former three elementary schools, our utility costs for the new schools. Now, none of this has been verified because we haven't been in the school long enough, but we were told we could expect to see $100,000 per year in utility savings. And that does seem to make sense because our former elementary schools, the three of them that we had, were a combined age of over 300 years. And the efficiencies of mechanicals and windows and things of that nature aren't nearly what they are in a brand new school. So it makes sense that we would run a more efficient utility operation with the new building. And the second thing I have up here is art, and that refers to art teachers. You see, when you have three elementary schools, we had to have three art teachers. And so when we combined into one elementary school, we were able to increase our efficiency and we were able to service all kids with two art teachers. So the savings there is salary benefits of an entire teacher. The same can be said for music. We went from three teachers to two teachers and the same can still be said for physical education. We have two physical education teachers now, whereas formerly we had three. Looking over here, secretarial staff, at one point in the new build, in the old buildings, excuse me, we had six secretaries servicing three schools. Now that we're servicing one school, we've gone from six to three secretaries, so there's an efficiency there. Custodial 
we have fewer custodians. I'm not going to quantify the number because we've totally rearranged the entire custodial staff in all three buildings, and there's been significant cost savings through that process. So as a result, we're operating more efficiently and at a cheaper price. And finally, transportation. There's money saved in transportation because our former model, we used to shuttle kids from elementary school to elementary school because our, our buildings were grade level buildings. Um, and so if a child lived close to Lodi Elementary but they were going to go to Seville, they had to be shuttled from Lodi to Seville and then back to Lodi and then they would pick up a bus wherever. We're no longer operating a shuttle operation so we're uh, spending less money on that. So that answers the question, why Cloverleaf built a new elementary school, despite the fact that it's in fiscal emergency. Maybe the better question is, how could the district have afforded not to do it at this time? Thank you.